What's up guys, Out of Order here with the spectacular video guys, it's been a minute since I made a tutorial, but nevertheless guys, as you guys can see by the preview, we're gonna be doing an exploding gun effect. Now, I got the edit pulled up here already, it's just something I whipped together really quick. Now, I'm gonna be real, I'm not really that much of a fan of this style of editing, but nevertheless guys, this is what I cooked up here. Honestly, I did a bad job showing the example, which is supposed to be this right here. This is supposed to be this exploding gun effect, but nevertheless, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it, so let's just get started right away so i'm gonna make a new composition we're gonna make it the same resolution as my clips so i got the same clip pulled up over here guys now we're gonna be adding the effect on here now i'm gonna be real you could really do this effect on anything so if you want the gun to explode when he reloads if you want this to explode when you know what i mean like you could do this thing on anything i say we just do it on a cinematic you know why not actually let's do it on a cinematic that'll be cooler all right sorry guys the title is wrong it's actually not gonna be on a gun it's gonna be on a cine so we're gonna be using plexus for this tutorial now this is kind of like an OG effect a lot of older COD edits used to do. Like back in like, you know, like Soar and Phase when those things were relevant kind of in COD. Um, yeah. So yeah, to do this effect, you just want to find a frame that looks cool that you want to explode. So uh, honestly, we could do this guy right here. When he dies, we could have him explode. So I say like right here, I'm just going to set a little marker there. But to do it, it's really simple. All we got to do is make a solid. So I'm going to make one by pressing Control Y. You can also go up to the top here, go to Layer, New Solid, or you could right click click new solid but i usually just do control y because i'm just that spectacular guys <laughs> all right and then so the effect we're gonna add is plexus now if you don't know what plexus is basically it's like some it's kind of like trap code form in a way or like element you basically can do like 3d stuff with it it's pretty funky so we're just gonna add plexus onto this layer and then once you do add plexus you'll notice that like the solid's not gonna be visible anymore so that's a good thing all right so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let me raise the quality here we're just gonna mask out the guy it doesn't have to be that really good good because like i'm gonna be real it's it's not gonna be noticeable this is just gonna be an explosion so like you know don't do a super crazy job masking just something simple all right there we go boom as you can see we got the guy masked out now i believe if we turn this off yeah it should just look like that but we're gonna turn this back on now the next thing we're gonna do is you notice that when you add plexus if you're using a really old version it'll show up here but uh if you're using a newer version you'll get like this weird object panel basically the next thing we're gonna do is go to add geometry we're just gonna do where is it paths and then after you add pass, the next thing we're going to do is go to renderer. We're going to add some points. Now, I believe you could already see them right there. So we could increase the size. Look at these guys. Boom big balls. If you want to add more points, you could just slide this thingy up. So yeah, like boom, we got it like that. But that's not what we're here for. Well, the points are cool and all. We want to go back on to add renderer and then we're going to add lines. Now, as you can see, once you add the lines, this is when stuff gets funky. I don't know why I keep using that word, but nevertheless, we're going to increase the points a little bit. So we got the lines there going. And then with the lines, you can increase them, add less, more, you know, that sort of thing. Or you could have them kind of stretch everywhere like this, which is actually kind of cool. I like doing that sometimes. But as you can see, we pretty Pretty much got it all good to go so next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some effects on it so we can add an effector here on this panel and we can add a noise effector it's pretty self-explanatory it's just gonna add noise onto the effects so like if we do this boom He's gonna go completely distortion kablamo mode. And the cool thing about Plexus is it's actually like 3D. So like if you have a 3D camera and like you motion track this in, it'll actually be tracked to it. So that's pretty sick. So I'm just gonna put it at zero for now. I'm gonna keyframe the amplitude. I'm also gonna control shift D to split the layer so we can uh, have it only start over here. And then I'm just gonna have it go like boom, you know? So it's gonna go pshh kind of like that which is kind of what i did on the gun effect you guys saw earlier but wait there's more <laughs> as you guys can see we could also do some transform on this too so if we add the uh under effector add transform it should add some more stuff here then you could just like move it around you know if you want it to fly up in the sky you can do that so let's let's actually have that happen let's have it fly in the sky that might look pretty good actually so as you can see that's kind of how it works i say we just select all the keyframes f9 to easy ease them let's just drag them up a little bit more like this maybe that's a little bit too much let's drag this over here a little bit i'm gonna select the y transform and we're just gonna have it start off already like that kind of like that and then like i said you guys could add more stuff if you want to so if you go back under renderer you can add triangulation which is like these weird little shapes right here looks kind of cool you could also add these little fac facets faucets i don't even know how you pronounce it but it basically adds more lines and stuff and you can add beams too so if you want it to be even more connected it'll be like that but i'm gonna get rid of them because honestly they look kind of ugly but now that we got that out of the way we can start adding more effects on here so i'm gonna close out of this and now usually what i like to do is just something simple maybe some like warp on it or something but i'll 
I'll just do the classic turbulent displace. So we're gonna add this here, maybe lower the size a little bit too. And then we could have like maybe the amount grow and also the evolution. So if I just keyframe those, we'll have it grow more and we'll have it evolve more. So it's gonna do one full cycle. So it's gonna go like boom. I think that amount is actually a little too much. Let's lower the amount, have it start at zero. So it's like perfect and then Maybe something like that will look kind of cool, like a little ghost comes out of him, you know, who knows really. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is just maybe something like, you could honestly add anything you want. If you wanna add a gradient ramp or like four color gradient, we can do that. So let's just add some colors here, slap it up there, slap it over there. This one goes here and then this one goes here. You just essentially wanna make sure that your thing is in the box and we can just make it like blue or something. So let's try something like that and then we can just add some like, you know, good old fashioned glow. I didn't use any glow on the other one that you saw in the preview, but it might look cool. Now because this clip we're editing actually kind of zooms in like in the game, we can't really do much camera tracking without it like probably tweaking out on us and also this thing's in the way. But if you do track a camera it will be in 3d space you just might need to mess around with the position of it but there you guys have it man that was a super quick and fast tutorial i'll be making a lot more in the future so be sure to comment what you want to see next i'll probably break down this edit even more actually honestly there's a lot of things that could be learned on this edit so i'll be making a lot more tutorials so stick around guys subscribe if you're new i make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff my editing pack is also down below as well so if you want to buy some presets project files and all my other secret tools that i love using be sure to check it out down below socials and discord are also down below too but with that all being said thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all so much take care and happy editing boys peace out gamers Bye.